search the world But it couldn't fill me Man's empty place And treasures that fade Are never enough Then you came along And pulled me back together Is now satisfied hearing the love. Oh, is nothing better than you. There's nothing better than you. Oh, is nothing. Nothing is better than you. To show you my weakness My failures and faults Lord, you see them all And you still call me friend Cause the God of the mountain Is the God of the valley
welcome forward, church. And welcome to all of those that are with us today in our physical locations and those that are online. We want to celebrate all our mothers today. And so today is a very special day. Today we celebrate every single mother across the globe because today is Mother's Day. And so we want to celebrate and honour and we want to appreciate and just, um, you know, say how much we love you and how grateful we are for every single mother here with us today. We have put together a special Mother's Day item for all of you to enjoy. Be blessed as you watch this. Can I just ask every single mum right now to stand to her feet? Every single mum, whether you're in an actual location in our, one of our services or if you're online watching this, I want you to stand to your feet. And as a church, we are going to love on you and honour you. Come on, church. Can you come and, and join with me as we love on our mothers today? Let's honour our mums. Let's, let's thank her for all of the work that she's done in all of our lives, for raising us as, as children, uh, for all the prayers over the years, for all the hugs, for all of the, the sandwiches, for being our Uber driver. We honour you right now. We're so grateful for every single mum. Come on, church. Let's put our hands together right now as we love on every single mum in this place. To every new mum, we've had a lot of mums have babies for the very first time last year and this year. To every new mum, welcome to motherhood. We celebrate you today. We're so grateful for you and what you're doing for your beautiful children. To every mother that has had to step into families to raise perhaps not their own children. You stepped in and you stepped up. We celebrate you today. We celebrate the aunties and uncles and even fathers who have had to raise their own children alone. I know it's not Mother's Day for you, but we celebrate and honour you today as well. We are grateful for all the wonderful things that mothers do and continue to do for all of us. We love you. We honour you and we are so grateful for you. Lord, we honour your presence right now. We're so thankful that you're with us today. 
Lord, we thank you for every single mother represented in our physical locations or even those that are watching right now. God, you love them so much. And Lord, since time began, you had, you've had a purpose and a plan for every single mother across the generations and today and forevermore. Lord, we just thank you for your blessing. We thank you, God, for your kindness. We thank you, Lord, for your love. Lord, that you would continue to renew and anoint and bless every single mother today as we celebrate her on Mother's Day. We're so grateful for what you're about to do and what you're about to release, Lord God, through your word. We're grateful, Lord God, for all that you are and that all that you are about to deposit right now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Deuteronomy 31.6. Be strong and of good courage. Let me repeat that. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, He is the one who goes with you. I love that so much. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and of good courage. Boy, I have used this passage of Scripture in my personal life many, many times because I understand that I can't, I literally can't do anything without God's strength, without Him navigating me and directing me and helping me get through situations that I thought that I couldn't, couldn't get myself out of. And this passage of Scripture really does promise us and encourages us to not be afraid. And fear is, is a, a real thing. And God promises us with Him. We can do all things. God is with us throughout every situation. Maybe you're going through something right now. Maybe there's, there's a situation or may, maybe there's, there's health issues or may, whatever the situation that you're going through. Let me encourage you this, this day. God is with you. He's never left you, nor will He forsake you. And I'm praying right now into your circumstance. I'm praying right now that the heavens will open up, that the heavens will, will pour out and that, and that in your situation, that God would turn that around right now in the name of Jesus. I, I speak life into your circumstance. I speak freedom, liberty in the name of Jesus. And I'm so grateful for a God that is miraculous, for a God that is good, for a God that is kind, for a God that is loving. Do not fear for God is with you. Be encouraged this morning. Every mother watching Every person watching, be encouraged that God is with you. His presence is with you today. He is with you. I remember the very first time I held my firstborn, Tracy, in my arms. I remember looking at her and thinking, oh my goodness, how on earth am I supposed to care for this beautiful newborn? I felt so unprepared. I felt out of my depth. You know, I, he I heard stories prior to, to giving birth that the moment you lock eyes with your newborn, it's almost like this immense love and, and, and um, excitement comes over you. But the moment I locked eyes with this innocent little baby, I was riddled with fear. Fear because I didn't know that I could be a good mum. Fear because I was afraid that I'd make a mistake. And by the way, I've made many mistakes over the years and I'm going to continue to make a lot of mistakes. But God is gracious and my kids are pretty good. <laughs> but I had no idea what the future holds for this little newborn baby in my arms. But I understood at that moment, even though I was afraid, my help came from God. So I took it one day at a time. Then those one day at a time turned to months at a time, then took, you know, then went from months to years. And here we are now, and my daughter Tracy is going to be turning 13 years old in May this year, next week, 13 years on. And if I had succumbed to the fear on that day when I was holding this precious little baby in my arms, goodness knows where I would be or where this child would be. 
But I had to learn to continue to surrender that to God. I had to continue to submit and, and, and keep giving things to the Lord because I knew I couldn't do it in my own strength. But through Him and His Word and through the people that God surrounded around me, because he, he did surround some really awesome people, friends that I'm still friends with till this day, because He'd never left me. And so sometimes when we're in situations that we just don't understand or can't handle, so we think, we're just going to lay it down and say, God, I need your strength right now and just stand on Him and take courage because the word encourage really means to give courage. In fact, you've got to have courage to give courage. You've got to have courage to stand. You've got to have courage to continue. You've got to have courage. And it's this godly courage that God gives us that enables us to do all the things that He's called us and purposed us to do. And so I want to encourage you all this morning that God is with us. And He wants to do extraordinary things through you all today. Over the next uh, few moments, I just want to kind of talk about some of the wonderful mothers in the Bible. You see, when we scan the Bible and read about these awesome mothers who've actually really paved the way for us, mothers who've encouraged one another, and I think about Elizabeth and I think about Mary, the two cousins, Mary, the mother Mary, who was carrying the divinity inside of her meets up with her cousin Elizabeth who is who is pregnant with John the Baptist and as they come together to encourage one another their babies are leaping saying high five cousin why is that because they're together encouraging one another you see it's so important to understand Mary had divinity inside of her she birthed a saviour. This mother was chosen by God. You see, we're chosen by God to be mothers. Whether we like it or not, we are chosen. We are chosen. Mary was chosen by God to bring forth the saviour of this world, Jesus Christ. She carried that. She birthed it and she raised Jesus Christ. I think that's just so exceptional. Wow. Wow. How incredible was Mary? How incredible was Pharaoh's daughter? And there she is bathing away. And there's this little basket with the baby on the inside of it. She grabs this baby unknown to her that this is the deliverer of a nation. She takes this baby, names it Moses, raises him as her own. There are, there are so many mothers out there raising other people's children right now. And there are mothers out there raising their own children on their own. Let me encourage you today. God is for you. And if God is for you, who can be against you? God loves you and He's going to use you to impart the wonders and the miracles and the, the, the amazing love through you to your children. Mothers are nurturers, aren't they? These arms of mine, like so many other mum's arms, they bring healing I love hugs. I believe in hugs. I know we haven't been able to hug lately because of COVID. But a hug is such a healing power given to another person. That, that human touch, that bringing in the safety, the support. Mothers are nurturers. Mothers raise children to be all that they can be. And then I think of another couple in the Bible. In fact, it's a mother-in-law. For some of you, you don't probably get along with your mother-in-laws. I actually do. My mother-in-law is is beautiful. She is such a blessing, not just to our family, but to so many people. And here's Ruth and Naomi. Ruth is the daughter-in-law. Naomi is the mother-in-law. And Naomi, well, unfortunately lost her husband and then lost her two sons. And so her two daughter-in-laws were, were kind of like, well, what do we do now? So she sent one away back to her hometown. And, and here's Ruth. And I love this so much about what Ruth says to Naomi. Check this out. Ruth 16 verse 1. But Ruth replied, don't urge me to leave you 
or to turn back from you. Where you go, I will go. And where you stay, I will stay. Your people will be my people and your God, my God. Naomi takes her daughter-in-law after she's pretty much said, I'm not leaving you, I'm with you, I'm loyal to you to the very end. And she takes her back to her hometown. She cares for her. She loves her. And God uses Naomi, a mother who lost everything, to restore Ruth, completely restore Ruth, her daughter-in-law, and bring healing to them both. I'm so encouraged by this this couple, this mother-in-law and and this daughter-in-law, the bond and the loyalty between the two. I'm so encouraged by the relationship of this mother-in-law and this daughter-in-law, the loyalty between the two, and how God goes on to restore and heal and bring back the influence of a family. So encouraged by that. As much as I love reading story after story of wonderful, incredible mothers in the Bible, there are so many wonderful and incredible mothers out there and your stories have not yet been heard. My my prayer is that someone gets to hear your story. My prayer is that someone gets to be encouraged by your story. Could that be something that you could do this week? Maybe allow some time to speak to the Holy Spirit and say, who can I love on this week? Or who can I share a bit of encouragement with? My prayer is that you do that this week. My prayer is that you encourage others this week. Because as you encourage others, so do you be encouraged as well. There are so many wonderful stories to be shared amongst you all today. But today I want to share a personal story about my mum as I honour her. You see, when I think about my mother, I think about a woman who is extremely strong. She's a woman that has strength. Growing up, I always knew she was strong, but didn't understand when I was a little girl where her strength came from. In 1985, my baby sister, who was four at the time, was tragically hit by a car. And as a result to this car accident, left her paralysed, in fact, from neck down. Not not was she only paralysed, she also needed and needs to this day a ventilator to keep her alive, to keep her breathing. She's a ventilator quadriplegic and her name is Narva George. You see, my mother, the the day that this took place, I can't even imagine to understand what she would have gone through. But what I saw was strength. You see, every single day, for the next two years, my mother would be at that hospital room. She'd be at every single hospital appointment. She'd be there organising every year since, since the car accident, birthday parties, different types of parties. And there my mother would be standing next to my sister and so I would look at her and and I'd I'd be in amazement with the strength and the courage that this that this mother had to just to keep going her four-year-old her baby is is in hospital on a life on life support fast forward a few years and it's time for my baby sister to come home and this is exciting This is exciting for all of us, but unknown to me at the time, my mother, who barely spoke English, was raised and born in the Cook Islands, came over the year that my sister had the car accident. She had to navigate her way through getting support at home and she could barely speak a word of English. But one thing was certain for her, was that her strength came from God. And as she was telling me this story, just recounting, you know, so that I could get the story right for today, she kept saying to me, my girl, it was God. It was God that got me through. And I'm like, yes, mum, it was God, but He still needed you to keep going. And it was your courage to continue. It was your courage to not give up. 
You see, my mother had this strength. And at the time, I didn't know where that strength came from, but I now know where. That strength comes from God. So here's this Polynesian woman, barely speaks a word of English. There is no in-home care services at the time. In fact, she she's the one that actually started the very first in-home care agency in Sydney at the time. And I'm not sure if that was the very first one throughout Australia in the early 1980s, but she was the first. Didn't know where to look. Didn't know who to ask. Had no resources. Barely spoke a word of English. Had no support. No one to help her. And there she is going through the yellow pages or she's going through a list of names of of potentials. Couldn't find anyone anywhere. And then she started one. Partnered up with a a, um, human resources company and there became the very first in-home care agency throughout Sydney at the time. This woman didn't give up. My mother, Sosa George, persisted. Didn't give up. May have looked at the current circumstance and may have said to herself many, many a times, this is too hard, God. And it may have been hard. I'm sure it was hard. But she never once gave up. And then fast forward a few years later and you see care for a disabled daughter isn't cheap. And yet there's my mother out there again trying to find lawyers, trying to find people to fight the legal system to enable my sister to get the care that she actually needed for the rest of her life. This is a woman who didn't have university degree. In fact, all of her education was in Rarotonga. But she didn't didn't give up. Back then, there's no Google search. Back then, there's no internet. All she had was the yellow pages. All she had was a, a list of names given to her by a social worker through the hospital. And there she is navigating this list. Lord, who am I going to ask to help me? And she's drawn to this particular name and she only calls one and his name's Michael. This particular lawyer was so helpful that he was able to win the case for my sister so that she can get ongoing care for the rest of her life. Come on, let's give God some praise right now. Let's give Him praise. We're so grateful for a God that answers prayers. And he certainly did that for this amazing mum, my mum, who is strong, who is courageous against all odds, against all odds, was able to achieve so much. She paved the way for healthcare, pretty much. She paved the way for in home care. She paved the way for my sister to have some form of normality in life. She paved the way. And I'm so grateful to you, Mum. I'm strong because of you. And I honour you today. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, He is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. My mother, she held on to this promise. And I want to encourage you all, you can hold on to this promise too. I hold on to this promise and I will continue to every day of my life. Lord, I thank you for every single mother watching. I thank you for every single mother who is with us today. They are just the best and we wouldn't be who we are today without them loving kindness God it's just so overwhelming and today I just I just thank you for your love today I thank you for your encouraging word today we stand strong in you today we have good courage because of you today we understand more and more that you are with us through every circumstance 
through every season. We thank you, Lord God, for what you're about to do. Release right now your anointing upon every person right now in Jesus' mighty name. Release, Lord God, blessing. Release, Lord God, refreshing. Refresh every person right now. We thank you, Lord God, for your love. Bless every person in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 And for every person watching today, right now, I'd love to pray a prayer with you. And in a moment, I'm going to count to three. And maybe you've drifted from God. Maybe you don't know God at all. Maybe you thought that God was, was angry and God was mad. And I want to encourage you today. He's madly in love with you. He loves you so much. He sent His only Son. That if you believe, you shall not perish, but have everlasting life. If that's you, friend, you, you, you want to say yes to Jesus, Jesus, I want you to type yes in the comment section. I want you to click that link. If that's you, you're saying, preacher, include me in that prayer that you're about to pray because I need to come home to Jesus. I need to make my peace with God. If that's you, friend, wherever you are, there's nothing you've done that God can't forgive you for. <laughs> come to me, the Bible says, and He will give you rest. So if that's you, friend, one, you don't know Jesus. You don't know Him as your Lord and Savior. Two, you're not right with God. Maybe you've drifted from God. My friend, I've been there before. I want to encourage you. His arms are open wide towards you. If that's you, friend, three, say yes. Click that link. Come on, it's time to come home and make your peace with God. I see those responses. You're amazing. I'm so proud of you. Let's all pray this prayer together. Every person in every room praying this prayer out loud together. Let's say it together. Say, dear Lord Jesus, I thank you that you love me so much. You died on the cross and rose again to forgive me of my sin. From today on, I'm living for you. I give you my whole heart. I give you my whole life. I'm holding on to you because you always held on to me. In Jesus' precious name, amen. Father, bless every person who's prayed that prayer. I declare a day of new beginnings. I declare a day of new believers. I thank you for that the precious and powerful name of Jesus. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. We're so proud of you. We're so proud of those of you who responded. And if you've responded, or maybe you didn't respond, but you wanted to, or maybe you just saying, listen, I just want to, I, I want to be part of the Ford Church family. Then I want to encourage you, the next step for you is this is forward. You can download that on that link right now, or you can go to the website. And uh, we want to, we want to help you discover God's purpose for your life. God has a great purpose for your life. I want to encourage you. Maybe no one's ever told you that. Maybe your teacher never told you that. If, but God has a great purpose for your life. So give your life to discovering it and see what God could do with you. And so I want to thank you so much for joining us today. And church, I want to thank you for your generosity. Your generosity is changing lives. Each time we come and we bring our tithe and offering into the storehouse, the Bible says that His house is full. And when His house is full, then we can feed the multitudes. And I want to encourage you and thank you for doing that. Every weekend, tens of thousands of people are being impacted with the life-giving message that is Jesus. You are in for a treat right now. Usually we have our kids do a special kids item. But today we've decided to do something a little bit different. And we've asked the husbands, oh Lord Jesus help us. We've asked the husbands to actually share a little bit about their wives. Happy Mother's Day. First question, I'm going to go to uh, Pedro. Um, what is your wife's birthday? Oh, he's frozen. Fourteen of June, July the twenty-first, um, year two thousand. <laughs> uh, my wife, she used to do um, is it underwater aerobics when her legs are kind of doing all this kind of stuff. Oh, drowning! No. <laughs> 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 I think it's called underwater aerobics. I have no idea. Well, me and the boys know where we stand, so she's always the boss. So I don't know what she thought of me when she first seen me, but um, I was at a tangy. So how do you see people at a tangy? 
Good job. <laughs> Thank you. This is you on the week. She's a prayer warrior. If you haven't heard of prayer? Oh, hello. She's, she's amazing. So always get her to pray because she. Um, hey, yeah, I love you, my darling. Thank you for everything you do for our family. Thank you for being the glue that keeps us all together. I love you, Beyonce. I see you soon. I appreciate you. I see what you do. I see the sacrifice you make for us as a family. Um, and we as a family love you dearly for I love you, my beautiful. Uh, thank you for having the, you know, the four, four kids, you know, my, my beautiful beautiful kids lovely kids yeah, yeah thank you thank you honey we love you from all of us uh, from all the family so thank you for everything that you are uh, I just want to say I love you my queen thank you for everything that you've done for this family and I appreciate everything that you do awesome well happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there I love you too my baby you're the jam between my toes oh yeah I love at Forward Church we believe in three simple things we believe in encounter, we believe in mission, and we believe in community. We believe in encountering God. When we encounter the presence of God, when we encounter praise and worship, our lives are changed. And so that's why we run services. Services are all about life-giving music and life-giving messages. So I want to encourage you to access all our services. Go to YouTube, go to our website, our physical locations. There's a location coming near you. And a big shout out to our Forward Church Sydney, by the way. And uh, it's amazing. And here at Forward Church, the second thing we do is we believe in the mission, that God's given us a mission, the great commission, that every single one of us has an assignment from God, literally a mission from God. And so for us, the way that we outwork the, the mission is through our lifestyle classes. A lifestyle is all about personal mentoring. It's all about growth. It's all about development. It's all about learning who you are and being equipped for God's purpose for your life. And I want to encourage you, Today, you can join our next lifestyle intake today. And you can join it today. Go to the website and check that out. Wherever you are, every, every location, you can do lifestyle. And the third thing that we believe in here at Forward Church is we believe in community. God, God, God doesn't want us to live alone. God wants us to live in common unity, community together. And so we believe in community. And the way we outwork community here at Forward Church is through family groups family groups are the heartbeat of our church. We've got groups for every age, every stage, and every location. So I want to encourage you to check it out. Well, let me pray for you today. Father, I just thank you for a great company of believers, a a great company of men and women who are stepping forward into their God-given purpose and their God-given destiny. And I thank you for that in the name of Jesus. And if you believe that, shout, I'm a believer. Hey, God bless you. Have the most incredible week. We'll see you soon.